This is Democracy 2014, where we're asking the candidates for governor in Maryland questions so you can be informed. Tonight, we're joined by Ron George, running on the Republican ticket for governor. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Would you like to make an opening statement? Uh, yes, Katrina. I'll just very simply say uh, that I am running for governor because I want to close the education and income gaps that we have in this state. We have minority achievement gaps. Uh, we have people suffering, people need jobs. I know how to create them. I know how to help attract uh, manufacturing entry-level, mid-level jobs and to get jobs back into the Port of Baltimore, build a tax base here, and bring uh, education into the areas where it's failing. Uh, in Baltimore City, I like to bring Baltimore Children's Zones, and uh, people can always check it out at VoteRonGeorge.com. I have everything there. All right, now the first question for okay. you, the rollout of the Maryland Health Connection was a mess. So as governor, how would you make sure this doesn't happen during future enrollment periods? Well, I, I think I was kind of, I, I got up on the House floor and I challenged the fact that we we're getting around the procurement process in the selection of who we were selecting. Uh, the companies were not properly vetted. Uh, we were told that the governor was choosing uh, from, would choose one of 10 companies, uh, but he based it on what? We don't know. Could have been uh, donations or who's the most friendliest. Uh, Maximus, for instance, had failed in other states, in Minnesota and Vermont. I don't know why we went with them. And uh, even Peter Franchot was upset that it went around the Board of Public Works, which was another uh, piece of the procurement process. So we have to make sure everyone is properly vetted whenever we do these kind of contracts. Now, come October, it will no longer be a crime to possess small amounts of marijuana. Do you support uh, Maryland legalizing pot in the near future, or do you support that move? Well, there seems to be a very progressive attitude that, oh, it's going to happen someday. I don't agree with that. I have a degree in clinical psychology, a master's degree. I have studied before uh, what cannabis does to the developing brain and why that's important in our young people. And I believe that usage does go up with them, and memory loss happens, and uh, many other uh, disorders uh, can begin with that. So I'm very sensitive about that issue, and I think we need to protect our young. I think they're getting hurt enough, and we need to give them the best tools to get ahead. And so that's where I'm coming from. I don't believe in legalization. Now, I did support it in a very limited medical model. People suffering from cancer wanted to be awake and aware with their kids. And uh, we know that uh, children have seizures. Uh, you know, they lower the THC amount, and it works with that. And so that's a good thing, that limited medical very, uh, with a lot of oversight, uh, is a good thing. All right, and finally, the Port of Baltimore is revamping, so super cargo ships can enter, but there is an issue of building a train and truck terminal large enough to handle those giant containers. What will you do to move that project along? Well, you know, as chair of the Anne Arundel County delegation, we had the Port Authority come in to talk to us because Jessup was one of those places. We also have Prince George's County would love to have jobs and holding areas also. That creates a lot of jobs. I think it's important that we do move forward. I do know that, uh, you know, the, the old Bethlehem Steel area would be good for holding areas, but not for the railway part, you know, for the big rails that we have and for those uh, big boxes, uh, metal containers uh, that come through on the ships. Um, and then we've got to get them onto the trains and get them to other parts of the country. It's a tremendous amount of jobs, and I think it helps our whole economy in Maryland. So we're looking at where it can be done, and I think we need to move forward on that because uh, our economy is very dependent on growing that sector. Now, would you like to make a closing statement? Well, I have to say that my whole goal in the beginning, I did not aspire to do this. I was asked to run for delegate first and then for, House of Dele uh, then for governor. Um, I want to build a new Maryland. I am a different kind of Republican. I've worked the inner cities and done volunteer work. I've worked with runaways, pushouts, people that were even pushed out of their home uh, by a parent. And, uh, you know, I, I get it. I understand the problems. And I want to get rid of that achievement gap and, and really move forward and, uh, and help everybody and then help there be jobs. I want young people to be able to afford to live here and I want the elderly to be able to retire here. Ron George, thank you so much thank for joining Thank you so us. much, Katrina. Thank all you. right, we'll see this interview and all interviews in the race for governor at abc2news.com. Click on the News tab and then Political.